Hi everybody, it's Steph here and today we bring you yet another absolutely gorgeous pen. What we have here is the Parker Vacuumatic. Now this particular one, as we'll show you in a moment, comes with this very sought after um, jeweler's band. And this particular pen comes in this silver pearl design. You can see it has these silver... Um, if you like these silver rings running around the pen What you'll also notice it's a double jeweled Pen as well. You've got a, a jewel to the bottom of the barrel there or the bottom of the blind cap Which actually matches the design or the color of the pen and if we take you up to the top here You'll also see to the top of the cap. There's a lovely matching jewel as well Um this, the size of this particular pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel um, is approximately 130 millimeters capped and around the diameter of the barrel here it's approximately 12 millimeters in diameter. Now if we show you, let's show you the barrel imprint first of all. Now what I've actually done, um, I've actually highlighted it for you. So yeah there we go you can see it nice and clear there now what the barrel imprint reads there for us from the left it actually tells us it's made in in Canada um, to the middle it has obviously the park evacuumatic and then below it has um, reg TMS and then if you look to the right of the vacuumatic there you'll see it has a pat number and the pat number on this particular one is 31 eight nine eight two and then last but not least what you'll notice all the way to the right of the imprint there you'll notice it has a number nine with the three with the three dots which is indicating to us that this pen was made in the first quarter of 1939 so there you have the imprint nice and clear as I say we've highlighted it for you so you can actually read it now, if we come to the top of the top of the pen here, what you'll notice to the top it has I believe this is actually now well first of all the thing about the vacuumatics they actually come in lots and lots and lots of different designs, different colours, different variants. Now to go through them all um, well it takes absolutely too long. So I'm not going to cover them all, but just coming back to the clip here, you'll notice the clip is this, well, if you like, this early feathered clip. Now, the clip, again, they brought out lots of different variants. They had they had the split clips. They had, um, at one particular time, they had a clip with a diamond um, or a star, if you like. Sorry, a star to the, to the inside of the clip. And then later on, they brought out the blue diamond clips as well but this particular case I believe this is the earlier feathered feathered clip now again if we go to the cap band here again the different variants had different cap bands some of them had double bands some of them had three bands some were slightly wider some were actually thinner this particular band on this particular model is what they term as the jeweler's band and I'm hoping you can actually see on this particular one the band is actually nine carat gold now the strange thing on this particular one it's actually the 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 imprint or the the stamps are actually upside down but um, what you'll actually see there it's actually telling us it's from the Parker pen company um, it's also telling us it was uh, made in London it's telling us it's nine carat gold as we've mentioned and last but not least, um, it, has, it actually has the date letter, um, which I believe on this one is a D, which corresponds to the date on the barrel itself. So the D actually corresponds to the 1939. Okay, so again, that's what we term as the jeweler's band. Now, if we actually undo undo the pen, show you the pen side by side with the cap there as you can see absolutely stunning 
beautiful beautiful pen you can see as we said before it has the twin jewels now if we go to the top of the pen you can see it's got the standard um, Parker section here which is slightly concave and a little ridge to make it nice and comfortable and if we go up to the to the nib here you'll see it has what we term as a monotone nib um, they also brought out sort of two tone nibs etc again different different variations different sizes this particular one I'm hoping you can see actually says um, well, as I say, it's a Parker 14 karat vacuumatic nib. And you'll notice it's got this, this arrow design to the nib. And the beautiful thing about this particular nib, it's a lovely broad nib. Now, if we turn it over, you'll see you've got the feed underneath there. It's got a little letter W, which to be quite honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what it means, whether, whether it actually means that this is a wide nib I'm not 100% sure to be quite honest. Maybe somebody can actually help us on that. But uh, that's the feed underneath. We sh show you a sideways view here. Absolutely beautiful. Now, if we come back to, as we said earlier, this is the vacuumatic. And what it simply means is that the vacuumatic pens are actually filled uh, from the bottom here with a vacuumatic pump, if you like. Now, this particular one, if we actually unscrew the blind cap you'll notice here that the blind cap is actually quite short um, the reason being is on this particular one we'll show you in a moment the the vacuumatics again had different kind of vacuumatic feeds if you like or pumps this particular one is what they term as a, a lockdown they also brought down uh, sorry brought a speed line which i believe was in around about sort of 1937 then after that they brought out the sort of the start what I term is the standard vacuumatic feeder which had a little uh, plastic or celluloid filler that that looked quite thin and had like a little mushroom a little mushroom top to it but this one I believe the lockdown filler is uh, one of the first fillers although I believe it's quite unusual that um, the Speedline fillers were actually brought out about 1937 and as I say this particular pen were dating to 1939 so it's quite unusual for this particular pen to have this this lockdown filler and how it generally works is you just simply give it a turn to the top there you can see that the top has these little ridges which helps to grip and if I turn it round there you can see it has this little um, this little slit and then this little ridge here which well as the name sort of says it locks locks back down into into the barrel there so while we've got the pen like this let's bring on some some ink and again to fill this particular pen all we do is simply give it a couple of presses on the lockdown filler which is sprung inside so what I'll do, I'll simply put the nib into the ink. I've just simply pressed it twice. There was a lovely sound of of bubbles there. So everything sounds hunky-dory. And as always, I've got ink on my fingers. So what we need to do now is just simply... Actually, what we need to do, should I say, because you've not seen there, but I've actually just blobbed onto the paper so what I need to do is there we go that's a bit better so what I've actually simply done there as I've filled it I've actually turned the lockdown filler and in effect it's just locked it into place so we've put the blind cap on there again the little differences in these particular pens uh, they then brought out a longer blind cap, or the filler was this, the speed line filler, which was slightly longer and stuck out permanently. So the blind cap in that particular case had to be slightly longer. So let's bring on a pad. There's the pad here. 
and let's do a little bit of writing. So what we have here is a Parker vacuum vacuumatic. As we said earlier, this particular pen is dated 1939 and what it actually has is this jeweler's band to the cap and if we do some figure of eights and you can see on the downward stroke we're getting quite a nice thick line on the cross stroke quite a thin line so a very very nice variation it actually writes very very smoothly it's a beautiful beautiful writer okay so there we go downward strokes nice and thick on the cross strokes quite a thin line so you can see there we've got quite a variation in lines then um, downward stroke being thick the cross strokes being quite thin so we'll pop that to one side let's put the cap back on so there we have it that's the Parker Vacuumatics again the I believe there was different generations in this in these particular pens they they termed it as a first second and third generation pens I believe this particular one is the first is a first generation as we said earlier twin jeweled in this silver pearl and as we've shown you with this very very sought after um, jeweler's band to the cap all in all though an absolutely beautiful beautiful pen so there we have it, the Parker Vacuumatic Jewelers Band. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. Don't forget there's plenty more videos, go and leave a comment and for now I'll just simply say bye bye now.